In the previous video, we talked about this exercise and string concatenation and we saw how we can concatenate a string with an integer. Now I'm going to be creating a new file and I will be naming it as tutorial 7.py. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you what an F string is. So what is an F string? So let me comment this control S to save. Before understanding what is an F string, we'll have to understand why F string was introduced in Python 3.6. So in Python 3.5, we don't have F strings. You cannot use this functionality. However, from Python 3.6 onwards, the developers at Python, they introduced F string. Now let us say I have this string one is equal to uh, this is and then I have this str2 is equal to uh, apples. Uh, let me say this is a basket containing space and let me uh, also say str3 and let us say str2 is an integer which is 56 and I want to type something like this is a basket containing 56 apples. So I can do something like this. So if you are a beginner Python programmer who know about how string concatenation works, you'll try to do something like this and you'll end up getting an error. And it will be a type error which will say that you cannot concatenate a string with an integer. So after doing some research, you'll find out that you can do something like this and you can convert your integer into string. Now that will work for sure. But again, this is not the best solution. So if I save it and if I run it, it is going to work. Uh, you'll see this is a basket containing 56 apples. But if you have more than one integer, you'll have to type str, str, str again and again. And this will make your code look ugly. You don't want to uh, make your code look ugly. You want something uh, which can better take care of this thing. So we have something like this. Uh, if I say result is equal to and I type something like this. Uh, let me type it this way. If I do something like this, uh, let me type it here. str1 and then I'll say str2 and then I'll say str3. Control S to save. I'll say dot format and I'll say uh, in fact I don't have to type this sorry about that I just have to say str1 str2 str3 and if I print result and I save it you'll see that it will print this is a basket containing 56 apples and one more thing that you must have noticed is that these spaces are counted in the string so if you see this string it has these spaces so if i remove these spaces uh, and if i control s to save and run this program you will see that we have exactly the same string printed that we produced using the concatenation operator now uh, now you might think that why am I teaching you dot format when it is a old school thing. Uh, the thing is that if you are looking into some old Python code, let us say you are contributing into some open source repository and you are writing some code and if you encounter this dot format, you should be able to find out how it is written, what it is doing and all that stuff. So one more thing that I want to tell you about this is that by default, the numbers inside this is 0, 1, 2. Now you might be thinking that what is this 0 1 2 I'm saying that you can write something uh, like 0 1 2 to specify the order for example if I run this I'm gonna be getting exactly the same output that I was getting before but but if I do something like this if I say 0 and if I say 1 here uh, and if I control s to save and I run this program you will see that the first string will be printed here the, which is a zeroth string the second string which is index one will be printed here. And the third string, which is index two will be printed here. So I can specify order like this and I can have my string printed like this. So this is how you use dot format. But again, your string is not gonna be readable if you do something like this. If you have something like 56 to 57 strings and you are uh, using this dot format function of string, obviously your code's gonna look ugly. 
So how to solve the problem? So the solution to this problem was introduced by Python developers as f string. So you can have something uh, called f string. And let me uh, let me come down and let me show you what f string is. So if I say f string is equal to, you can actually name this anything. I'm just using f string as a name. You can. Uh, you can call it result f you can choose any name for your variable so if i say result f is equal to and if i do something like this and if i say uh if i say something like str1 and then again i say str2 and then again i say str3 and if i print this by the way if i do something like this I'll be getting this literally. So if I run this, you'll see I'm getting this literally str1, str2, str3. However, if I want these str1, str2 and str3 to be replaced by the corresponding variables, which is this is a basket containing hair, 56 hair and apples hair. I'll have to write a f here. So if I introduce this f here, this string is an f string. Now what is an f string? f string is something that will replace all these variables with their values. So if I run this program now, I'm not going to be seeing this str1, str2, str3. I will rather see the exact values of these strings. And the best thing about f string is that they are readable. So if you have an f string with 56 to 58 strings or any kind of variable, be it integer, be it float, you can have a readable string. Uh, looking into which you can easily make out what is going on inside this big string so if you look at this one yeah you can tell what is going on but again you can tell because you have only three variables inside this string but if the number of variables starts growing then it is going to be difficult for you so to make sure that your string is readable you should use uh, python 3's f string so f string was introduced in python 3 from python 3.6 onward and if you are using a python version above python 3.6 you should be able to use f string so this is how you use f string now i want to give you a quick quiz so let me say quick quiz and your quick quiz is print an f string uh, which will print your name and your date of birth so let me uh, let me write down the name of the variable so I'll write down the name of the variable so let us say name is the name of your uh, name variable and date of birth uh, is called DOB so all you have to uh, print is let me say like this print an f string which will print your name and date of birth uh, in this format so I'll say in this format so the format is my name is something and my dob is something so you can use name as harry uh, or you can use name as adam and you can use dob as this string 18 12 and then you can 1932 so Adam's birth date is 18 December 1932. So let me control S to save. And after I press this, you'll see my name is dash and my DOB is dash. So all you have to do is you have to fill in this string. So I hope you like this video. You understood what the concepts of dot format as well as how F strings work. So guys, if you haven't already accessed this playlist, I would like you to access this playlist as soon as possible because I will be adding more videos very soon and I'm going to be completing this course. Uh, this is a free Python course and I'm going to add all the videos to this playlist. So make sure you have bookmarked this playlist and also you have saved this playlist so that you don't miss any videos whenever I upload. Uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up guys. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and I will see you next time.